for the first day in a while, it started to rain. And it's days like this that are my favorite to create. So today I'm going to be sketching NGC 4565, also known as the Needle Galaxy. This is a great galaxy to create because it's one of the best edge-on galaxies in the sky that is easily visible through moderate sized telescopes. I've recently been inspired to work with charcoal because I wanted to take a little bit of a break from painting. It's been quite some time since I've actually sat down and painted onto an actual canvas. Because I've been doing lots of resin nebula pours, that doesn't require me to do much painting. And I'll be completely honest with you, I'm a little terrified to pick up a paintbrush just because I'm not sure how it will turn out. So until then, I'm going to be working on other fun mediums that inspire me. NGC 4565 was discovered by British astronomer William Herschel in 1785. This bright edge-on spiral galaxy is very popular because it's a view that may resemble our own galaxy the Milky Way. The size of this galaxy is estimated to be over 250,000 to 300,000 light years in diameter. It is also considerably more luminous than Andromeda, making it one of the brightest galaxies known to exist. Now a little more about the art. So when I was working on this piece, I quickly discovered that the blending process was definitely going to take the longest time. That is why you see me working on this outer edge shadow the longest. Once you add in all the details, that is really what brings the whole piece together. But getting that background set prior to adding the details is very important because when working with charcoal it blends very easily so if i wanted to make sure that the background was completely set and practically finished so that way when i added the details on top it could almost be done Now you may notice me going back and forth between my charcoal pencil and a blending stump. A blending stump is just, I'm not exactly sure of what it is. I think it's some type of paper and it's wrapped up and it helps you blend out the charcoal a lot more easily instead of using your fingers. But I will say that in comparison to using a blending stump or any other type of blending tool for charcoal, I think using your hand is probably the easiest and I really like the results of doing that.
I think that charcoal is such a great way to learn your artistic abilities and really master the effect of realism in your work. Whenever I get to bring in the white charcoal on top of the black, you really get to see how big of a difference adding highlights can make as opposed to not adding any highlights at all. It's a very easy way to learn how to do that and carry it over into all of your other work. So here I am creating some other spiral galaxies and these actually are in the real image. Creating these little tiny galaxies is crazy because when you look at that photo there are so many and to think that we live in one of those out of the two trillion that are out there my mind can't even comprehend it. I wish I could. I can't, but even just drawing something like that makes me feel small and really makes me feel like I am in the grand abyss of the universe. And that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and you learned something. And if you are interested in seeing more of my artwork like this, you can find my work at Atlantian Designs on Instagram. Alright, Space Cadets, till next time. <laughs>